палки. Не понял, а что? На пост. Да, на парке, да, на парке. Да, вдруг стало это самое глючить и задуху. Вот я и думаю, что бензин. Не, бензин был, но я вот это не надо. Ладно, разберусь. So it's, it's not starting? It's like um, there is a filter, like a um, yeah, sensor, right? Um, it has a filter, and if they didn't put correct gas, like it's supposed to go like super, and they put just regular, it's gonna give a headache now. So it uh, burns out. Oh, I see, and then you have to refill it from empty, right? Or well, you need to Don't add a it. better one, uh, mix up uh, okay. octane and, um, okay. and go from there. Okay. Well, if we can get it to a station, I can put 20 bucks of uh, premium in it. Yeah, that's the thing. Where's the station? Yeah, I'll uh, take a look. So we're gonna have to find out uh, closest gas station somehow. Oh, that's a bad time. I'll be patient. Thank you for standing by. Can you step out from this side? Yes. Okay. Try to... Um, one second. Try to open me uh, from this side with a key. Okay. The door. I think I found a problem. What is it? Disable with um, immobilizer. Can you repeat that? Immobilizer disabled it. Oh, I see. I don't think it's a gas, it's electronic. I hope they didn't play on this main. <sighs> okay, we need to get out. Okay. <laughs> Wow, 
Well, I almost made it home, but uh, there's, there's a small issue happening right now. Unsure what it is exactly. What's what's the thing up? I gave you? Is it? Oh yes, it's in here. So one of the things that we're trying out is uh, working with the keys, um, presuming that possibly the the key was the thing that was causing the car to not work correctly. It sounded like there was some problem with the gasoline um, while we were on the highway. Like maybe went, uh, I'd say, 10 miles and then um, I guess started to hear something of a, not a noise, but just it sounded different. Like maybe it wasn't getting gas or something. And uh, then the driver put it into neutral, coasted along, and, and got it to a place where we could pull over safely. And that's where we are now. I'm um, going to be looking for a place to get premium gasoline because this car takes uh, good gasoline and it's possible that someone put some low quality gasoline inside of it. Uh, unsure what exactly the issue is, but we'll get it figured out. <laughs> well, what a bad thing to happen. I just bought this car, so like if uh, this car, I mean, and I, I didn't just buy it out of nowhere. I took it to a mechanic first to get it checked out, so this is something that I would think they would have found, discovered. We're going to take a look under the hood now. See, see what it could be. Well, it looks nice and clean. Nothing seems overheated. Everything looks pretty good. Excepting that it doesn't start. That's the only issue. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to start looking up gas stations that Renee might be able to get to pick up uh, some some kind of gas can <clears throat> and then bring some gas over. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it's a gas issue, though. I'm not sure. It sounds, sounds like it is when the thing's trying to start. But it started up for me, no problem. Gas station near me. I'm on uh, East 62 right now in uh, Massachusetts, headed north. Looks like there's a gas station not far. Stop and shop. All right. I'm in Danvers, Massachusetts. What do you think? Should I uh, send Renee after some gas or something, maybe? It's, uh, I think it's an uh, immobilizer. Oh, okay. I, I'm not familiar with what that is. It's, um, it's like um, an Ikea. 
it's inter interrupts power on the battery to just слушай-ка, такое впечатление, что мобилайзер включился. Я что-то не знаю. А? Она не заводится вообще, она просто крутится, она не заводится. So it sounds like there's an immobilizer, something that interrupts the power between the battery and the engine, I guess. And that's what's keeping the car from turning on. We'll get this figured out though. It seems like a simple problem because it was it was working great just a moment ago. And the mechanic did give it a clean bill of health, said that everything was uh, working good. No major problems, uh, all it's just small things, so this should be something something easy to figure out. In the meantime, this is what it looks like. Renee is hanging out back there. She's the one who's gonna taxi me home in uh, the case that I'm not able to get some sort of temporary plates today. Renee has volunteered her services as a private cab. It's a really beautiful looking machine. I never really understood what happens under the hood of a car uh, for many years until I had been driving for a long time. Now seeing this engine, I mean, I am just so impressed that all of these pieces can work together and push the car forward safely for decades. It's just, it's pretty remarkable. I'm going to turn the car off to save, or turn the camera off to save battery.